Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, would you come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the reason. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the reason let the weight of your glory let it cover us let the light of your river flow And let this truth of your kingdom reign in us. And let this truth of your kingdom reign in us. Let this truth of your kingdom reign in us. Let the light of your river flow. Let the light of revelation flow. Let this truth that makes your kingdom reign in us. Let the light that brings glory reign in us. Let the truth that transforms us reign in us. Let the eyes of the Spirit reign in us. Let the light of the most high breathe on us. Let the sound of power reign in us. Let the 
weight of your glory. Let it fall. Shekinah glory fall. Shekinah glory fall. Let this truth that makes mighty man reign in us. Let the light that swallows weakness reign in us. Let the light that destroys fear reign in us. Let the weight of your glory fall. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh Lord, let your glory cover us. Let it cover us. Let it cover us. For oh, where we stand is holy ground. Where thou standest. Bow down and worship Him. I will worship Him. Oh, His presence is here, Majesty. Lord, I worship You. I bow down and worship Him. Lord, we enter in. Lord, we enter in. Consuming fire, sweet perfume. Truly, your awesome presence it fills this room. Consuming fire, you're the sweet perfume, your awesome presence, your changing presence, your lifting presence, your mighty presence, your glorious presence. Mysterious presence, your precious presence, it fills this room. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, I see your awesome presence, that's what makes the difference. It fills this room So I lift my hands in worship As I sing praises to your name I lift my hands in worship as I sing glory to your name so let the weight of your glory cover us let the weight of your flow your river flow let this truth of your kingdom reign in us 
empower us. Let the weight of your glory Kadosh 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 Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Koinonia welcomes you, oh God. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Never get tired of what you are doing. Never get tired of what you are doing. Let the light of your river flow. And may this truth of your kingdom reign in me. Let the way of your Bring to our midst the presence of the Father. 
you bring to our midst the presence of heaven. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. because this is a place of encounter this is the protocol of an encounter when you invoke his presence in worship 
then he comes. Lord Jesus, thank you. May the name of the Lord forever be lifted in this place. May religion never, ever replace your presence in this place. May this place remain a place of encounter. Encounter with the Spirit of God. Encounter with the precepts of the kingdom. Encounter with the powers of the age to come. Strengthen us, O God, by the spirit of revelation. Let the vistas of the heavens be opened. As we explore the mysteries of the kingdom, make us strong. May we be the ones that know their God. And may we do exploits. Hallelujah. Just the voices. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Sing hallelujah. Say, Lord, my eyes will see and my heart will receive. Pray. Cry from the depth of your heart. Open our eyes, O oh God, that we may behold one cross. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And also is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. 49. And as we have borne the image, oh hallelujah. As we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. I'd like us to read verse 49. Read it with understanding. One to read. Please help us with the fun. Let's build my Bible. The Bible says, as we have borne it begins to give us a contrast of inhabitants and beings in this earth. Right? When you read the preceding verses, it says there are different kinds of bodies. Please listen to me. The teaching tonight will bless you. It said there are some bodies that are terrestrial. There are some bodies that are celestial. And all of them are within this territory. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says, in the same way, since we have borne the image of the earthly, there is a system in God 
that can help us manifest experientially the image of the heavenly. And this is what I'm going to be dealing with very briefly tonight. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 10. Help us, O Lord. Grant us understanding in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 10. As we have borne the image of the earthly, so we will bear the image of the heavenly. Verse 10. One to read if you are there. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Where? Not on earth. Not on earth. Thy will be done in earth. In the same way your will has been done in heaven. In heaven your will has been done. And that's why the fullness of your kingdom find expression. But Lord, let your kingdom find expression in the earth. In the same degree, in the same dimension, and in the same similitude. Hallelujah. Tonight, I want to share with us something that has helped my life through the years and is still helping my life. This, for me, is one of the keys to carrying very heavy weights of the glory, the life, the power, the beauty of the kingdom upon your life. If you will pay attention to what I'm about to teach you in these few minutes and you believe it and you walk in that light, then you will find out that first Corinthians 15 from verse 49 will become your testimony that here and now you will be a manifestation of a reality that is not obtained in this realm. You will walk as though a God upon the earth. Hallelujah. Jesus began to talk and he said, when you pray, let this be part of the contents of your prayer. Our Father who resides in the heavens and he says we hallow you, revere him, come to him with the spirit of reverence and worship. And after that, let the consummation of your prayer, let the core of your prayer be your kingdom. Come. Your influence the atmosphere of heaven the same principle that makes heaven heaven lord let it find expression in the earth not just on the ground but in the earth these mortal bodies of clay let the heavenly let that which has made celestial beings find its way to the earth realm hallelujah and find its way upon the inhabitants of the earth. That way, your will will be done. Your kingdom will come. Your glory will be revealed. Write this word down, please. Transformation. Transformation. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And it says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, not lawlessness, freedom, space. And he said, we all, wherever that place is, certain things happen there. And one of it is that we all, with open face, there is an unveiling. He says, we behold him as though looking at ourselves in a mirror. And then we begin to experience transformation so we are the image of the earthly but as we behold the heavenly there is a transformation that begins to happen and we begin to look like the heavenly it says we are changed from glory one dimension of glory to another and the name given to that process is transformation transformation is the process that makes you become like Jesus Christ. Transformation 
is the process that makes you become like Jesus Christ. You can expound on it. Transformation is the process of alignment and conformity. The process, that process of alignment, that process of conformity that makes a man become a manifestation and an expression of the heavenly. That makes any man become an expression of Jesus, the very Christ upon the earth. Transformation is the name given to the spiritual process, the spiritual technology, the system by which the earthly becomes the heavenly. The system by which the weak becomes strong. The system by which the canal becomes spiritual. It's called transformation. The desire of God, listen, the desire of God is that the fullness of his glory, his glory means his nature, his essence, the fullness of his power, the fullness of his kingdom, his influence, the fullness of his culture, his way of life, invade the earth and find expression in the earth exactly the way it finds expression in heaven that is the heart cry of the father that the fullness of his culture the fullness of his principles his glory his power his wisdom find expression in the earth as it is in the heavens God is not satisfied just with the beauty and the, the excellence of heaven. He wants to birth that same experience. That was the idea behind the formation of Eden. An atmosphere that becomes a reflection of his character. An atmosphere that becomes a reflection of his excellence. An atmosphere that becomes a reflection of him. That's why he gave his exact dominion to man. Not an inferior type. His very dominion gave it to man. And it still is his desire that his fullness will find expression. If that happens in the earth, then we will see the harvest of souls. Then we will see transformation and revival across individuals and territories. Then we will see the systems and the kingdoms of this world becoming experientially the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. Then the ultimate plan of God will be fulfilled. That all things be headed up in Christ even as he submits to the Father. And so the strategy is that Jesus submits to the Father. And then the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit like a faithful bride submits to the authority of Jesus and then through dominion and a demonstration of the reality of the kingdom the church the battle axe will bring creation under its feet and then all things according to Colossians becomes headed up in Christ and he becomes the fullness of all things this is the eternal plan of God but for that to happen, his kingdom must come. Listen, please, get what I'm saying. His kingdom, his influence, his glory. When that happens, then we will see a reality that is foreign to the earth finding expression. Because there are vessels that become containers of that reality. It is at that point we will see the eyes of the blind open by a technology that medicine cannot explain. It is at that point we will see men walk like gods upon the earth. Right? When they saw the apostles, they called them Zeus and Hermes. Greek gods. Because they operated laws that defied what man had known. And the heart cry of the father is that his kingdom, the fullness of his influence, the fullness of his power and his glory will find expression. Until that happens, God is still being misrepresented. The fullness of of who God is will only be understood 
when his kingdom comes. If the kingdom of God does not show up in his fullness, certain dimensions of God will still remain vague and misunderstood. And that misconception will paint very wrong images about God. Are you following what I'm saying now? So the desire of God is that his kingdom will find expression in the earth. The desire of God is not just to take us to heaven. Please get this. The desire of God is not just for rapture to happen and the antichrist judged. All those things are part of the processes that will lead to the culmination because he is God and his sovereignty will make his prophecy to come to pass. However, he said, thou art my battle axe and my weapons of war. With you I will beat down nations. And so as it is, we do not yet see all things according to Hebrews under his feet. Are you, are you understanding the teaching tonight? So God wants heaven to find expression. Not just as a song. Not just as a cliche. Not just as a Christian suggestion. Not just as a theological fact. He wants it here and now. Here and now. In this place. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. In this place, here and now, we let your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign. So here and now, in this life and with this mortal body, he wants the image of the earthly to experience the fortest of the glories and the realities that dwell in heaven. But the limitation to that agenda is hidden in this word. Transformation or lack of it. The process by which the earthly becomes the heavenly. The process by which the treasure is transferred in earthen vessels. The treasure by which a celestial body becomes terrestrial. The process by which an ordinary biological being Comes literally a celestial being. When that happens, then we will bring our lives, our families, our territories, and the nations under the submission of the Christ. Listen, listen. What I am telling you is the reason why you are alive right now. If nobody has taught you this, then I want you to know that you do not even understand what we call Christianity or what we call the faith life. It is our participation in bringing this agenda to pass. Are we following now? And there is a way God wants to achieve this. I've taught it under the message, the emergence. You can get part three, but I just recap on it before we go to the main discussion tonight. I told you that there is a spiritual strategy to which cosmos will be subdued and will come under the governing influence of the king. The name of that strategy is the church. The church is not the coming together of people. Not just that. The church is not just a local assembly. The church is the name of the only spiritual strategy that is capable of birthing the purposes of God in its fullness. And so he says, Thou art Peter. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. And he says, Upon this rock, I will lift that strategy, that ecclesia, and the gates of hell will not prevail. So the church is God's only chance and hope. Not because he's not mighty. He has chosen through his predeterminate counsel that it is only through the church that the multifaceted wisdom of the Christ will find expression. And so the agenda of the, of the Father is at the mercy of the understanding and the participation of the church. It's not at the mercy of the might of God. 
It's not at the mercy of the sovereignty of God. It's at the mercy of the equipping and the participation of the church. It is for this reason that he gave unto some apostles and prophets and teachers and evangelists and pastors for the equipping that they enlighten the saints that they build up the saints that they orient the saints that they they become instruments of birthing transformation in the saints so that the saints now transformed will do the work of the ministry what is the work of the ministry giving god space to find expression in is what ministry is all about. Hallelujah. So the spirit of religion is the operation of darkness that masquerades itself as light. And rather than exposing the people to the light of God that equips them and prepares them as an army, it gives them a form of godliness. But the, the capacity, the power in it to birth that transformation is not there. So for such people, their testimony is ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. So they learn. They have devotionals. Right? There's all kinds of Bible studies and prayer. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there are church services. However, those activities have been shrouded in religion. And so it does not sustain the ability to break out the light of God in them. And so after many years of being in church, after many years of being an elder, being a deacon, being a pastor, after many years of a church existing, that desire of God is unable to find expression because the average believer does not even know why they come to church. They come to church as a way of satisfying guilt. They come to church as a way of, of trying to dance to status quo so that they can avoid the embarrassment of being told they are carnal. But it's much more than that. There is a heart cry. And those who will carry out this heart cry are the ones who become unkillable. They are the ones who the Bible talks about them. It says for them, those people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake saying, don't touch this one. It is for those kind of people that God would rather a nation die than for something to happen to them. They are the ones who are granted access to taste of the powers of the age to come. Realities that are not apportioned for our dispensation but on the strength of their yieldedness they can touch into certain things. This is what happened to David. It was not given to him to see the coronation of Jesus. It was not in his dispensation. But his loyalty and allegiance and alignment opened him up to the mysteries of the spirit and he peeped into the coronation and he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The prophet Isaiah was not supposed to see the outpouring of the spirit that Joel would prophesy about. But because of his alignment, he tasted of an ability and a dimension that was not made for his dispensation. And he saw in a vision with stammering lips and another tongue will they praise me. Wherein I have said this is the rest and the refreshing. It was Joel that began to prophesy. All of these prophets bits and pieces of their revelation into that ultimate agenda. And here we stand today. The prophesied generation. Here we stand today. The generation that all the prophets have spoken about. While they stood here, they saw you in the loins of prophecy. And here we are. Majorly wasting our time and wallowing in the, in the futility of religion. Unable to partner with the Holy Spirit. To exert any tangible force in the spirit. As far as advancing his agenda is. We are caught up in the web of religion, pastor, apostle, prophet, caught up in the religion of meetings and conventions and conferences, organizing ourselves and organizing God and his agenda out of our program. But Jesus said this, Jesus himself, not a prophet. He said, your desire should be to participate in any way to see his kingdom come. 
Meaning if you are alive today hearing the sound of my voice and there is no active contribution from your life in birthing this agenda, you do not deserve to live. For he said, I shall not die. He didn't say live to roam around wallowing in religion. He said, I shall not die, but live to declare. Is God speaking to us? And so the way he will achieve this agenda is through the church. God wants to do this by revealing himself. Listen, the way that the agenda of God will find expression is when his glory is revealed first in this earthen vessel. And then through this earthen vessel to the entire territory of human race. So the agenda is twofold. The manifestation of it. First, to you, the battle acts. He wants you to experience his glory for yourself in your life. That your life becomes an expression of his beauty and glory. That your life becomes a validation to the fact that the kingdom is true. And that the power of God exists. And then out of that experience, you begin to dispense the grace and the glory and the anointing and the power from your personal testimony as a contribution of your quota to see his kingdom come. Are we learning something? Say after me, God desires that my life will host his presence. God desires that my life, my body, my spirit will host his power. God desires that I become an expression of the reality of God's ability here and now. God desires that I become an expression of heaven and everything it carries here and now. That's God's desire for you. God's desire is bigger than giving you a wife. Don't reduce God. God's desire is bigger than giving you a jeep. The devil can give you a jeep. God's desire is bigger than giving you crowds and giving you a church and giving you anointing. God's desire is that the fullness of himself, he wants you to become a conduit of his glory, a conduit of his wisdom. That word, dogza, the full representation of all that is obtainable in him as far as our dispensation is given and defined by, he wants it to find expression. So the limitation of the agenda of God is the limitation of the ability of the saints to be transformed and not the limitation of his might. The inability of the saints to contend for transformation has misrepresented God in the earth. This is the tragedy in the earth right now. He wants to reveal his wisdom and his glory and his power in your life first and then through your life. Please don't make that mistake to just think he just wants to reveal his glory through you. No, he wants to reveal himself in you then through you. In you, then through you. In you, then through you. There are two limitations that the Bible reveals to us. Two limitations that can frustrate the church from achieving this. There are two limitations that the Bible points to us. That as much as we say we love God, there are two limitations that will stop us from ultimately satisfying the desire of the father number one the first limitation is what the bible calls the gates of hell the gates of hell matthew 16 verse 18 the gates of hell the first limitation that the bible openly points out to us that will be a challenge it will be a standard that will attempt to resist this agenda the gates of hell he said and i say unto thee thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my ecclesia and the gates of hell not demons not principalities the gates the fullness of the arsenal of hell what is the gates of hell it means satan and all the arsenals and the strategies that he has Satan 
and all the arsenals and strategies that he has in an attempt to fight the advancement of the kingdom that's what is called the gate of hell the gate of hell represents satan and all his gimmicks comes from the greek word stratomai it says do not be unaware of the devices that word is stratomai the strategies the skills the arsenals of satan there is a formula he uses for deception there is a formula he uses for witchcraft there is a formula he uses those formulas are like secret codes they are also called mysteries that is the principle with which he has brought nations for instance the bible tells us that satan uses the spirit of fear to put people in captivity it says and to deliver them through through fear have all their lifetime be subject to bondage so the spiritual strategy to bring bondage is fear and like job what you fear now becomes your lot are you getting me so the bible says the gates of hell will rise you want to get a job there is a spiritual formula to frustrate you it is part of the arsenals of the gate of hell you want to get married there is a spiritual formula because your marriage has a route to bringing this agenda to pass since that there is a prophet that your womb should produce and satan will fight it it's not about you coming from east or west it's about something when he said the seed the seed shall bruise the head of the serpent satan started looking for everybody that looks like the seed he's still searching today hallelujah and he will use everything everything he will use everything your sensory perceptions your financial condition your family situation your academic condition every strategy satan is desperate more desperate than you can ever imagine to see that the agenda of god does not come let me tell you those who trivialize the reality of satan and his plot to fight to death the agenda of god are joking jesus himself said there will only be one limitation to the building of the church the gates of hell the spirit of religion came from satan activity without power came from satan because when the nation of israel in egypt wanted their exodus the moment they told moses we want to go moses told a m pharaoh what did pharaoh say occupy them is because they are free start giving them activities let them have meetings upon meetings seminars upon seminars and then they get busy and it convinces them that activity is equal to spirituality is god speaking to us tonight hallelujah the gates of hell they will haunt you i guarantee you when jesus went to fast satan followed him and stood somewhere watching jesus praying listening to his prayer points as he communicated with heaven for 40 days satan was nowhere else in the world roaming around he was waiting because it was a it was a a, a a defining moment for jesus as soon as jesus was done here comes satan his strategy again if you are really the son of god turn these stones and he took him up a cliff and so on and so forth and the bible says when jesus overcame him what did he do he left him for a season is it in your bible he left him forever make no mistakes that because you think you are born again and filled with the holy spirit the devil will cross his leg and say wow promise so you are going to have a great ministry in the future well done you are a new creation in christ you are joking you are joking hallelujah the gates of hell they will rise brothers and sisters let me tell you the gates of hell will rise you are a brother you love god the gates of hell will rise through different strategies hallelujah look at samson the gates of hell rose up he was just moving and one demon entered a lion and the lion came to feed you think the lion just he was just strolling around and he said lion let's let's try wrestling you think that's what was happening to samson because satan was trying everywhere to find out about his strength so he used the strongest of the beasts and a lion came and samson tore it into pieces and satan said it's not there 
strategy change. He used the Philistines. They caught him. Right? And he, he used the jawbone of an ass. Satan said, I missed it again. Another strategy. Delilah. If I've used physical strength, let me use emotional strength. Where is that beautiful Delilah? And Delilah came. And Satan saw how vulnerable Samson was. He said, we are making progress. We are making progress. He, he, Delilah insisted. And when she cut off his hair, the judge of Israel had been brought to his knees. Hell began to celebrate. The gates of hell prevailing. Samson's eyes were plucked off. Samson's hair was cut off. And I can imagine God saying, come on, Samson, you gave it cheap to Delilah. You would have asked me for a wife. I would have given you a wife. And Delilah ran away. But then what they did not know is that there is still a package in God to restore. Listen. God said, Samson, I know you have blown it. Your Lord now is death. But you would, you would die in victory. Let all the people that represent evil in that land gather in one auditorium and the strength will be restored. And Samson said, Oh Lord, I know I've sinned against you. The, the Lord you have given me for my generation as a judge, I allowed a woman sleeping with Delilah. That's what some of you are doing as you are looking at me and laughing as if it does not matter. You carry your death. You are insulting Esau for taking porridge. And some of us have done what is cheaper than taking porridge. When you know what is upon your shoulder, you will package yourself and warn yourself from the spirit. Samson made Israel to suffer just because the strength and the salvation of Israel was upon him as a judge. But then, you will not say he didn't fulfill his assignment because he pushed. He said, oh God, let me die with them. And while he pushed, the Bible says he killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime. Imagine the mass burial of evil. All the evil men gathered together with their idol and he crushed them into pieces and died with them. Every man that showed up was given a piece of this assignment and they ran with it. They didn't do it part time. They spent their life doing it. When Jezebel was threatening the prophets of God, Elijah the Tishbite arose, a fiery prophet who frustrated the counsel of darkness and left. And now, probably in the 60s or the 50s or the 40s, who knows, one woman was crying in slave trade and said, Oh Lord, I may die, but let this little child of mine exalt your name and that person became your ancestor became your grandfather became your father and now it is you that woman's prayer who died in the slave trade that lord i saw a vision that africa must be saved that's you sitting down roaming around and god is saying do you not know you are a manifestation of prophecy how we limit him how we limit him The gates of hell. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18. Let's hurry up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, but once again, the gates of hell. Satan personally took it as a responsibility. Satan told all the demons, stand. This Paul, I've noticed this guy is, I mean, this guy is just winning souls and expanding and enlarging the territories of the kingdom. I will hinder him by myself. Listen, when you see people being challenged and confronted, shut your mouth. 
is because they have many of you have not received any confrontation you think it's just because you are in christ it's because you have not done anything striking enough at least start praying pray to a point that it generates fire and see what happens that's the night somebody will appear to you and say let me warn you your father obeyed us your mother obeyed us take care and leave you wake up in the morning and say what happened i'm praying and i'm seeing somebody appear and you think it's backsliding is because fire did something in the spirit the gates of hell let me tell you there are giants in every mountain don't let any man fool you i pity any man of god that wants ministry wants crowd wants miracle and will not pray you are roaming around doing geo or doing president you will die like a chicken i tell you see let me tell you though if you know how desperate satan is to destroy your life satan does not mind if you die after koinonia on your way going that's when you will appreciate the mercy and the grace of god because for one month now you have not prayed some of you and you have traveled and gone everywhere and yet nothing happened just a kai it's just because i'm in christ ah, yeah, 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 yeah. a lady prayed in the night brothers and sisters prayed in the night physically in the morning her uncle called her and said what did you do her physical uncle alive what did you do i can't remember he said be careful you don't know who you are trying let me tell you gates will not open like that you want to bring breakthrough you want barrenness to stop in your family you want oppression to stop the cause of poverty to stop all this all this tea christianity will only the devil will encourage you to keep doing it but let fire burn upon the altar and you watch reactions from the gate of hell oh yes i tell you reaction from the gate of hell is not a sign that the victory of jesus is not there it's a sign that something you are doing is striking a chord how many of you have finished praying and you find out that your loved ones die insulting you and there is fight in the house it's when you finish praying the day you don't pray there's joy and peace and love even somebody who doesn't like you just loves you but you take out time and blast in tongues for two hours non-stop as you step out they say look i've been warning you and you are saying what did i do it's not the person the gates of hell attempting to stop you you tell that man no i won't sleep with you i'm going somewhere and see what happens that's the day somebody will come and tell you we don't do it like this in nigeria better bend or become a fool and you sit down and say truly satan is threatened by every communication of zeal towards your destiny i know what cares satan i found out early in life the moment you say i am taking a step i tell you satan fears you it's not everybody satan is afraid of there are men who have determined when you worship god and you say lord in life and in death satan says what do i do with this person whether you pray or not things are working well i guarantee you it's because somebody somewhere is praying for you a day will come god will wake and say mr man there are still other sinners getting born again your tenure of of cheap playing christianity has been expired i said it doesn't really matter oh god i thank you i love you you're my king you died you've done everything you will you will waste like a chicken especially take what i'm saying serious i'm not playing games there is the gate of hell it will meet you on the road to your job it will meet you when you are about to give birth one of our ladies just put to bed Annie worship team bouncing baby boy hallelujah at a point they were talking stories here and there and she said she had a dream and she saw me I thank God for using my face as a communication of victory and seriousness in the spirit no I say it with, with all humor if you see me in your dream 
before this hear what I'm saying before you carry newspaper around and say you are, you are programming all of that let me tell you some of you are not serious with your destiny even you you know you are not serious that's why the gate of hell will pass you you say Look, what of me they say no 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 you are not an issue there is somebody we are looking for listen may your life not be so cold that the gate of hell ignores you you would think it's spiritual growth but it's a sign of being so inert in the spirit you are not striking any chord when the devil wants to destroy your parents he comes freely no resistance whatsoever you snore in demons come in do what they do and they and they, they come out and you wake up i refuse my life to be like that for as long as i am alive the devil will know that i love the lord and i will stake my life to see his kingdom come are you getting what i'm saying do you know there are some of you the covering of your prayer that is keeping your family make no mistakes about it they are criticizing you and you don't know why it's a reaction don't stop that's the time to stay after they do all of that you find a corner you know how kings reign come on you know how they reign don't stand outside behaving like a fool you lock yourself fire is rising everywhere in the spirit and the gates of hell are saying here he comes again may they know your name he said Jesus I know Paul I know Joshua Selman I know they will know you and know your tongues once they hear it they say here he comes Shekete katababa, manta protokaya, tongues that have grown with pain, tongues that have grown with sacrifice. The gates of hell will fight anything they can fight in your life. Please be aware of it. You may be as beautiful as the sun. You will watch men pass you like this. That's when it will occur to you that the God of this world can blind people's eyes hallelujah one day in my life fridge fell on my head the devil wanted to destroy my life yet by the mercy of God I've said with you some of don't think I'm playing games that's why if listen when the devil was doing that he saw the word I'm giving you it's not just because of Joshua Selman. When they looked at the womb of her that was with child, they said they saw two nations, not two people. There are some of you, the, the arsenals of hell rising against you doesn't even have anything to do with you as in you. is what you represent. Backslide and see how the devil just leaves you. And upon this rock, I will build my church. If you travel up and down and come back safe, it's not luck. There is a law of life. If you don't know it, you will keep being afraid for the rest of your life. Tomorrow we are going to Obomosho. Praise the Lord. To go and invade and set fire. It's fire all the way, brothers and sisters. Mm. So break every chain. Break every chain. May your appearance be the threat of hell in any territory. That when you show up, come on. Look, there are some of you, the reason why God will insist that you marry somebody is because he's taking himself to that family. He packaged himself to you and he's saying, go there. And you enter that family and you just discern the spiritual atmosphere and see chains that have kept people and say for introduction welcome note lift up your heads all ye gates that's introduction but why has your life not passed this kind of threat to the gates of hell hallelujah Moses threatened the devil when he died Satan took his body his dead body they were fighting over his dead body Satan said he's dead I still want it 
because if he resurrects, I, I rather carry it and keep it and make sure nothing happens. The dead body of a man. Elisha died and his dead body still brought somebody back to life. But the beautiful part is that Luke 10, 19. He said, behold, see, I have given you. Whether you know how to access it or not is not the issue. But I have given you. He said, behold, when the Bible tells you behold, it means see, conceive what I'm saying as a reality in your spirit. It's not just open your eyes and see. You are already seeing. You are not blind. Behold, man takata yabada. I give you. I, give, I confer upon you. Power to tread upon serpents, scorpions, and over how many? All the powers of the enemy. The word power there is the word exousia, authority. I give it to you, Joshua Selman, because you will need it. You will never be able to advance Koinonia without that power. There are gates that will rise. There are gates over Saria. Don't think this crowd gathering outside is just because Satan was asleep. There is a force. We know where we do it. When the prayer band comes together on Tuesday, as they lift their voice, something is happening. And while you are there in your room, some chains just break. And you say, let me go for Koinonia today. And something wants to keep you. But God will say, come, come, come. Listen, please let me submit to you in all sincerity. If your prayer life is dead, use this meeting to jack it back to life. I'm not playing games. This is not an issue of I'm calling to the ministry of prayer. Nobody is called into any ministry of prayer. I say everybody is called into the ministry that will make Jesus come. The advancement of the kingdom. He didn't tell some, let me teach you how to pray. The rest go fishing. He was talking to everybody. You see the importance of prayer. If you are not told this, let me tell you. What I'm doing to you is imparting the spirit of prayer and supplication. If I don't give you a reason to pray, you will never pray. All these lazy things people do around. And let me tell you something. A big secret. See, explore the mystery of night prayers. We'll, we'll soon do when there is a series on that. mystery of night prayers when all the noise and all the things that, that stop unnecessary angelic activities because of disobedience those people are asleep and you are praying you are just worshiping putting worship like this that's why it's good to be rich create a prayer garden in your house put flowers put the portrait of Jesus remove every nonsense that Nigeria has put in your head and you put it and you wake up in the night you carry your notebook where you are trusting God for direction for the next level you carry your Bible you carry your recorder this is what I do this is what I do I put heavy worship for hours and while that is happening I'm lying down flat with notebooks Oh Lord, this land is opening up. God said, don't go anywhere. Stay in one place. Say, thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I would have made a fool out of myself. And God says, I want to do more, son. You are limiting me. You are limiting me. Expand your capacity. Thank God for what you have seen in Koinonia, but it's only little. And I say, Lord, supply the grace. And that heavy Shekinah comes. I lie down there. I sleep and I wake up. I sleep and I wake up. The body is tired. I say, sleep there. You are not going anywhere. Not what you do on your bed. You lie down and then you put earphone and you sleep off. That is, is a basic level of spiritual growth. It's spiritual growth that is a reflection of laziness. You don't write your exams on your bed and say, bring my exam paper. No matter what the rain is, you get up. Please, are you getting blessed? I'm trying to impart some level of seriousness in us. Because this is how the great will reign. The gates of hell. Everybody say, I have authority. When I read this scripture years ago, it made me afraid. There are two words in this whole thing that makes me fear God. Not behold, 
not power, not all, by any means or any means. What does by any means mean to you? Is the part of scripture you understand that will open up. When the Bible says nothing shall by any means, it's a double confirmation. So in case anything happens and I didn't pray, Satan will still not use it as a yardstick because the revelation of by any means is at work in my life. By any means. Whether by means of my ignorance or carelessness, that scripture still fortifies me while God is trying to restore me. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you only believe in the power, that's what you see. If you believe the by any means part, that's why some of you were almost sleeping with one lady one day. You two, you don't know what happened. Right? Never brought light or something. That's the power of God working. Don't, don't just laugh. Come on, you know I will talk to you. Right? Or you were planning to go somewhere and rain fell without cloud by any means. Keeping you. I want you to realize that you truly have authority. Now, whether you have received it, it's one thing for me to give you this. It's another thing for you to receive it. And it's yet another thing to know how to use it. Are you getting me? Whether or not you refuse it, it does not mean I did not give you. He said, I give you authority. Let's hurry up. The second limitation that the Bible lets us see is the limitation that is caused by lack of a transformed and an aligned mind I want to dwell on this a little and then we'll pray the first limitation is the gates of hell Satan but the second and even bigger limitation is lack of a transformed mind the absence of a transformed mind can be a limitation to the might and the glory of God finding expression. Now, let me explain something very quickly. I want to just correct something very, very quickly. Please look up. I taught something and we're having a school of ministry and I did a little teaching and I saw the way the students, the thing was just nailing them and uh, God, they were saying, it's not like I don't agree with you, but let it just settle down. What we call the tripartite nature of man. I want to teach you something. Please look up. People have written books who have never had any encounter with God and have written all kinds of audacious books. Let me have three people. I want to correct something now, please. Hallelujah. Watch this. Just stand face. You stand in the middle. You are wearing white. God bless you. Watch this. Look at this. This is what you have been taught. Now, I'm not against what we call the tripartite nature of man. But I want to teach you something that will really liberate you. Otherwise, you will not understand this transformation thing I'm talking about. What I'm going to teach is very powerful now. This is what we have taught people. This is man number one, spirit. This is man, same man number two, soul. Is that not true? This is man number three, body. This is what you have taught. The Bible never teaches this one. This is nonsense. That's religion that brought up that. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? It is true that man is a tripartite being. But the concept of tripartite being is not three distinct individuals. Like Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Uh -uh. It's in the similitude of that. But watch this. This is the part I want to explain to you. What is the soul of man? Look up. If you don't understand this, forget transformation. Forget carrying the power of God and the glory of God. What exactly is the soul of man? It is true that the Bible says that you'll be kept spirit, soul, and body. Right? But what is the soul of man? Is What I'm saying is, can you separate the spirit of man to say, this is spirit. You, this is soul. Stand here. This is body. Can that happen? Look at me. When a man dies... How many objects or entities are separate? Two. Is that not true? Whatever you call it, whether spirit or soul, we're about to find out. But whatever, let's call it X. X comes out and the body is lying down there. Correct? Is that true? We're about to get the name of X now. Listen. 
<laughs> he said why no one said why there's no why in the equation are you are you following what i'm saying now if you don't understand this you will be confused which part relates to god which part should change which part goes to heaven and there is that's to tell you believers are not even growing because if you are growing you must meet this question on the way are you getting what i'm saying what is the soul look up we teach that man is a spirit he has a soul he lives in a body very correct it's only that we don't think over what we are saying joshua selman listen joshua selman is a person he has a handkerchief he lives in a room how many assuming this room is a living thing how many living things do we have are you getting what i'm saying now what you call the soul please get this never forget what i'm about to teach you now what you call the soul listen is the spirit of man but connected to his will emotions and intellect the will emotion and, and intellect of man are forces or spiritual frameworks that were attached to his spirit man to be able to help that spirit relate with the body are you getting what i'm saying so when the bible says man is a spirit it is true in that he's describing the fact that this spirit entity came from god right but the spirit like that if the spirit just comes to the body there will still not be interaction because of law of territory go and get my message mysteries of the kingdom i've taught on the law of territory that there must be compatibility in territories that's why spirits cannot move freely in the earth they need material bodies is that true because of the law of territory so the spirit as it were is unable to find expression physical in the body until a dividing line are you getting what i'm saying now an attachment that helps the spirit to communicate with this container called the body and that attachment is the mind composed of your will ability to make decisions so the spirit wills and through the will of man the body executes that will are you getting what i'm saying emotions and then intellect a sense of comprehension so this body can wake up as an intelligent person with a brain remove the will emotion and the intellect and you don't have a soul again you just have spirit and body are you getting what i'm saying so when you say man is a soul you are right when you say man is a spirit you are right but i'm telling you the dynamics of the difference because when you get born again this guy watch this when you get born again in in his original sense your spirit man is united with christ it experiences the fullness of salvation immediately immediately oneness so way are you getting my point the so way life implanted here but that so way life has not found expression in this body that so way life has not permeated these faculties that was given to you that is why although you are born again you find out that you may still have that appetite to smoke the memory of what you did is still there because this dividing line the will emotion and intellect has not been transformed are you getting what i'm saying so the bible puts it this way first peter chapter 1 verse 9 first peter chapter 1 verse 9 you need to understand this herbalists understand this those who do astral travel right what they call them harry krishna or all this world really they understand this very well it's part of the foundational teachings that they are taught everybody read want to read the word end there is the culmination of your faith receiving the culmination of your faith what is it this is talking to believers what is the salvation of your soul the salvation of your soul is when your will your emotions and your intellect progressively begin to experience the fullness of the reality of what has happened in your spirit the degree to which that salvation happens is the degree to which your body begins to respond more perfectly to the impulses of the spirit which is connected with god 
Are you understanding what I'm saying? So watch this. All authority has been given. So we believe the word of God. That means this spirit man is carrying the very authority of Jesus. That means that if the mind of Christ is automatically attached to your spirit experientially, nothing will be impossible for you again. Because there is no resistance as far as your soul realm is concerned. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are we following what I'm saying? But this is usually the problem. Watch this. All power is here. The body is a puppet. It's ready to execute anything that these channels give it room to. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now this is all the power of God. But this is the level of access. So that power can barely find expression to the body. So all that the body executes. Are you getting what I'm saying? Is just a little and a fraction of the capacity of what is resident there. But because human beings look at the body and so promise now teaches because he used his eyes to read. Oh, sick bodies, you can be healed. Blind, you will be healed. And your spirit man is saying, yes, we have the power, don't fear. But because you do not have that salvation of your soul, the transformation, what makes the earthly heavenly. Are you getting my message now? That very factor. I now come to him on wheelchair. Is it true that all authority has been given? Yes. And I say stand up. And he can't stand up. He sits back down. I say look ginger your feet. Let's try it again. Watch this. Stand up. And nothing happens. And at the end of it. This guy says your Jesus is a liar. What happened? He was misrepresented. You just misrepresented Jesus Christ because what you read and what happened conflicted themselves. Do you agree with me? Now I am telling you that God is in his throne at the mercy of your transformation. As mighty as he is on the throne, he is at the mercy. Give me space. And then while you are struggling, a man like Benny Hinn comes and he just stands and says, Holy if you are in a wheelchair, stand up, stand up. And he stands up and he's walking. What happened? More Jesus than you? No. No. There is a greater conformity to the image of the Christ that has made him, his body, now responds in greater measure. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it is this middle man that is your next project the moment you get born again. Your job is to bring that mind that contains your will emotion and intellect that makes your spirit called a soul right so when we say salvation of the soul you're not really doing anything per se although we generally say spirit man are you getting my point but what we really mean i'm breaking the dynamics for you is that attachment to your spirit man called your will emotion and intellect that is the doorway through which the reality and the glory of God find expression because he that is joined to Christ is one spirit your spirit man has been joined to Christ except you don't believe the Bible but that Christ cannot show up on the scene because your mind is a limitation so I come as a preacher and I say in the name of Jesus darkness flee and although the spirit is willing but the flesh becomes weak because the doorway through which the possibilities of God through the spirit will find expression in the body is also weak. So I look at somebody oppressed and I say in the name of Jesus Christ, be free and nothing happens. When nothing happens over a long time, the devil now comes and says, why don't you try me? You have tried the rest. Jesus being part of the rest. And you say, truly, let's go to the village. We have tried. Man of God, I appreciate you. I know God is using you mightily. But the emergency requires another force to come into attention. And the herbalist that you meet has mastered the art of yielding his faculties. See, this is the same thing that happens when demons come. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me teach you something now. Watch this. A man who is not born again can have demons attach themselves the same way the Holy Spirit seeks to attach himself. That's called demon possession. Are you getting me? The will is 
is helplessly at the mercy of that so the man can carry out anything this man can be born again demons can no longer come to his spirit man per se but they use the doorways of these faculties so between the spirit and the body there is an interruption are you getting what i'm saying now so he can be born again yet anger is still killing him he can be a man of god yet he's still masturbating and he's praying in tongues genuine tongues real tongues and you are saying kai this man of god is fake no he's not fake something is happening in the soul realm the salvation of his soul has not been perfected so the bible says it this way the weapons of our warfare are not carnal because it's not the realm of the flesh but mighty through god are you seeing now he shows you how that transformation happens to the pulling down of strongholds casting every imagination every high thing that dwells in that soul realm and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ listen so the difference between me and many of us is not necessarily more anointing as we call it the difference is more alignment more yieldedness more translation so it makes you reflect the heavenly this is what happened to enoch enoch yielded himself in a point that in his lifetime this his mind was so yielded and this body started experiencing immortality you see the concept of immortality that many preachers people like kobus great man i love and honor he's going to be with the lord he caught the revelation of immortality but not the dynamics of its manifestation so he knew from the word of god that if immortality is at work in your life the first thing that happens is you stop aging at once you stop aging that's a sign that immortality is at work but it so happens that immortality is not an impartation the fullness of that which is in your spirit seeks to find expression in your body and our yieldedness is so slow that our lifetime cannot contain that degree of transformation so god just takes your spirit and your body lies the moment the trumpet shows up the law of immortality is what will make your body that's the law of resurrection that's what makes a seed to arise again are we getting blessed bless you guys I just hope you understood what I said. Psalm 78 verse 41. Please let's rush. Help us Holy Spirit. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. Yeah, they turned back and tempted God. And what else did they do? They what? They limited the Holy One. Who are the day? Mortal men. God wanted to step in. Oh Israel, I want to do mighty things in your midst. But the Bible says they limited God. They limited God. A man can limit God. Brothers and sisters, how many times have we limited God in our lives? How many times have we limited God in our finances? How many times have we limited God in our ministries? Who told you the dead cannot rise? Who told you all these things cannot happen? There is something stopping the realities that have been deposited in the spirit man. And so every time we engage, I'll be sharing with us the forces that will help us attain to this transformation. Listen. I will never forget the first day that I was going to experience the anointing of the spirit in my life. I've never seen it before. Never laid hands on anybody. I just kept praying and doing all the things that I knew to do. And one day, there was a lady who came from somewhere. And I prayed, you know, we bought food for her. And then she, I prayed for her. She got born again. And I was about to minister the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Just by faith. And I just laid my hands. And it was as if I was dreaming. I just saw somebody moving back i had barely touched her and that's how she just went on the floor ah. i said oh god what what is this good news that i'm seeing so be excited when you begin to see don't just be childish about it that's because some of you once you see that you keep looking for people whose 
<laughs> surface area to volume ratio is small so that the anointing will enter fast you now go and look for small small ladies and try to throw them I remember years ago there was a gentleman okay the power of God will touch you now now and the lady is just doing like this but refusing to fall then you put one finger you not fall two fingers you are doing madness the agenda of God is bigger than that thing God will just let you because at least you are cooperating with him so just do and let's continue but it doesn't mean God you are slowing down your progress <laughs> some of you are doing it Abby. praise the Lord and so from that time I began to see I will never forget when I saw one dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit in my life I think it was our first crusade Panchin crusade we usually have pastors conference where we have some time with the pastors teach them that was in 2006 and then we we'll have like um, we we'll just distribute ourselves in different churches and go and worship with them so I was in a church and I gave a word of knowledge when I gave a word of knowledge the person literally stood up by the anointing you know this running that people run out and come Brrr, I was shocked I thought that's how they do it in the church I called another person and he ran out I could not understand I didn't know that gradually 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 hallelujah let me use medical terms have you seen times when medical people a woman wants to give birth right and they said that her pelvic area has not dilated enough is that true is there a baby yes does he want to come out yes why is he not coming out the mother right and sometimes they have to do all kinds of things worse come to worse when nothing is wrong they just tear her open and carry that child because the child must come out pray that God will not have to do CS for you for this destiny thing to come out by force as soon as Zion travails the Bible uses that simile too she will put forth a child so the reason why God is able to do what he's doing now in a larger capacity is that by grace and by constant partnership with the spirit over the years we have been able to open a little more so the transformation that has our mindset has been able to come in greater alignment with the word of God so more of heaven can find expression to our lives but compared to where God wants to take we are still so slow this is why we must continue contending Are you getting what I'm saying now? That is the reason why we celebrate men of God. We don't just celebrate the men. We celebrate their sacrifice of giving God space to find expression. That's why a man can enter a city and that city will shake. Not just shake in terms of crowd. A lot of even people who will not come for the crusade. There's a woman. I think one of the few women on earth that I know is alive. That carries the presence of God in the order of Ketri. She's still alive till today. When that woman is coming for a crusade immediately they spot her car that's how healings and deliverance happen i was shocked i didn't know there's such a person in the earth ah the day i saw that i said my goodness ah this is heaven this is what we're saying this woman stepped into the crusade ground and my goodness the kind of miracles i'm not talking of all these miracles that you don't even know whether you are healed or not you are just afraid of the pastor so you say yes provable miracle wounds that will close right away not magic right away wounds closing i said my goodness oh god so you still have men and women and ladies do you know you have an advantage over men because of your configuration your configuration was designed in the similitude of the Holy Spirit. You see that? That's why many ladies are easily possessed and demonized. Because their configuration is in the similitude of the operation of the Holy Spirit. Let's write a few things. A transformed mind. I'm defining it now. A transformed mind is the mind of Christ. That's what the Bible calls the mind of Christ. A transformed mind is the mind of Christ. I'm defining it now. It is the mind that has come into agreement. It is the mind that has come into agreement and alignment with the word of God. Come into agreement and alignment 
with the word of God, comma, and has willfully submitted to the influence of the Holy Spirit. That's a transformed mind. So a will, emotion, and intellect that has come into agreement. You no longer conflict the principles of God. An alignment and a mind or mindset that has submitted to the full influence of the Holy Spirit. This is what the Bible calls the end of your faith. The culmination of the work of salvation. And this very one, transformation is not initial. It's not automatic. It's not at once. It's progressive. It takes a while. It is over that that the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Let's look at Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. It says, walk out your salvation. You see it now. That's the part it says, walk out. Not just the work of the law. Not just trying to add something to what Jesus has done. No. Walk it out. The walk out there. It says, wherefore my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, comma, walk out your what? Your own salvation. As a matter of urgency, what is the work there? Is the name given to your participation, your cooperation with the Holy Spirit. In your fasting, you are working it out. I'll be sharing with us. In your prayer and all the points I'm about to give you here, you are working it out. Romans chapter 13 verse 14. The Bible gives it an interesting picture. It says put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Where it's like a cloth. Put on. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. And what? By so doing. Make no provision for the flesh. That means there will be space for the flesh. Until you put on. That put on. The transformation is like wearing a new garment. Your possibilities in life through God is defined by your degree of submission in the soul realm to the power and the glory and the might of God. Hallelujah. You see why we love and honor the Holy Spirit. Write this very quickly. The degree of transformation and alignment to God by any man the degree of transformation and alignment to God by any man exactly becomes the degree of access the degree of transformation and alignment to God by any man exactly becomes the degree of access to the glory and the power of God in and through his life that means your degree of alignment to God is the exact measure of how much of the power of God will manifest in your life not how much you carry but how much will find expression so you can carry God as we all believe but you never see that God show up in your life in my life Lord be glorified will you be glorified in my life Lord be glorified today can you sing that song Lord in my life in my life be glorified be glorified hallelujah so what is your own part of the deal as far as your your transformation is concerned remember the purpose of your transformation 
is to give God space in the earth through your life. That God will find expression through you. That God will find expression through your church, man of God. There is so much God can do with that ministry. Woman of God, there is so much God can do in you. But your disalignment has made him look small. I have made you too small in my mind. Ah, how true. Oh Lord, we really should cry for forgiveness. Forgive me. And I have believed in a lie. That you are unable to help me. But today, right in this place. But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. Show yourself in my life and in my heart and with my song. Oh Lord. Man. Oh, that's the song you must sing. That's the song of transformation. Be magnified. Break the walls. Break the boundaries. Be magnified. Oh Lord. Be magnified. Oh Lord. You are highly exalted. And there is nothing can't do hey, hey. oh Lord my eyes are on you be magnified oh Lord be magnified St. Patrick's a great man that lived a man had died brothers and sisters six months he was dead and saint patrick's came and said where is the grave true story when they showed the grave he signed his signature on it saint patrick he said diggy they brought the man out alive in this earth men whose mindsets have authorized heaven to make them gods i shared with you about ancient i study a lot about revivals i was sharing with you about the monk that they were building a cathedral and a wood stopped halfway there was no money to buy another one he held it and drew it and completed it Hi. transformation that makes the earthly to become the heavenly Catherine Kuhlman she was so transformed to a point that she was preaching on a pulpit and she left the stage but she was still floating she didn't realize she had left the stage. Apostle Babalola, for those of you who know, the founder of CAC, that man preached to a point he was levitating and going. They held him and brought him back. E.W. Kenyon, men who allowed the possibilities of God, you don't die less than 70 in his church, he will raise you back to life. One time a man had a, a, an accident. A car climbed his legs. Broke his bones. And all E.W. Kenyon did was to look at him. Because he sees through his eyes. And he looked at him. Allowing heaven to pass through your eyes. And the bones started making noise. We say it today like mystics. But men. The Bible says men whom the earth is not worthy of. How did they live? Imagine brothers and sisters, Elijah. He was talking with God on the mountain. And they came to interrupt him. He called fire. Your atmosphere opened. Fire came. Consumed them. And they went back. Physically. Daniel entered the lion's den. And looked at the lions and smiled. Joshua told the son to stand still. There is something we are missing in our generation. And Bill Johnson got it on the spot. He called it the supernatural power of a transformed mind. How that heaven wants to find expression. Do you know how much God can do with koinonia? But in my little mind, imagine how much I limit him. And God says, well, I will just manage with the little space. 
and see the little things that trickles of his presence that happened during miracle service and some of you are clapping and God is saying I wish I wish that's the reason why God transports men from region to region he's transporting himself through them tomorrow we are going to Obomosho and God is going there through the decree we have given him he expects to do great things but he wants to do more unfortunately Joshua Selman has refused to be as yielded as God wants so probably there is somebody in a mortuary that is not supposed to die but I may not be able to raise him and I will go there and when they finish people will come with seeds and offering and say you are a powerful man and then our arrogance will further prove our mediocrity because there is no passion to press again don't compare yourself with what is happening around in our generation you'll be a weak Christian compare yourself with men who live like gods on the earth they threw Paul took him out of the city and killed him when they killed him they went the other apostles came yeah Paul this is how you have done just shook himself said, guys please I will talk to you later on Paul said I am in the straight between I'm standing the line dividing the realm of the spirit and the physical realm that's where I am I'm choosing to go or to stay but I'll stay because it's profitable for you can you imagine a man like that John his mind was so alive they threw him in boiling pot and nothing happened but today when they shoot you you will die at once let me finish up so we'll pray so what then is your assignment what's your challenge write these two scriptures Philippians 2 12 and Philippians 2 5 that's your assignment let this mind be in you permit this mind 2 verse 5 let this mind koinonia God wants to find expression in Zaria God wants to find expression in your family give him space don't limit the mighty one he is mighty but limited mighty but limited mighty but limited through you what is your challenge write it that means your assignment and your task to work out that salvation to contend for transformation and alignment so as to grant more space and more access to God to find expression through you in the earth that's your singular challenge that's your singular task contend for transformation give God space through your life my goal in life is that heaven will find so much expression through me that there will be more outworkings of the kingdom unconsciously than consciously I look forward to a time when there will be accidents and I will just come and God will say thank you I've always wanted to raise them but I need an access point Joshua Selman be there hey. see the Bible say you shall lay hands on the sick it didn't say you shall say be healed just take me near that person and he will be healed God wants to go to your home but he wants to travel through you transformation the hallmark of transformation is oneness with God unity the hallmark of transformation is where your mind literally becomes the mind of Christ your mind becomes a full expression becomes a mindset that totally agrees with the word of God are you willing to give up that culture to take up the mind of Christ are you willing to give up the past to take up the mind of Christ give him space give him space very quickly before we pray the process of transformation what is the dynamic so how are you changed what's, what's, what does it entail to move from the earthly to the heavenly number one the first key to transformation is a life of prayer the first key 
that translate you from the earthly to the heavenly. Praying in the spirit. When you pray in the spirit, that transformation is happening. Whether you know it or not. That's why I encourage as many of you whose prayer lives are weak. Join the prayer department for one month. So that you can have a platform to fire up your prayer life. Pray in the night. Pray in the day. Separate days for prayers. Prayer in the spirit is one of God's technology for changing a man from being earthly to being heavenly. It's one of the systems through which he enlarges you and creates more space for himself. Prayer is like molting. The way reptiles, snakes, molt. You, see, you know what happens when they want to expand, right? They come out of their current shell. It's a difficult process. It's a sacrifice because snakes don't have hands and they have to crawl through. And when they come out, you now see the cocoon and the snake is big before it now crystallizes. That's how you grow. So while you are praying, investments of prayer, one hour, two hours, three hours, Sometimes you just dedicate the time morning till night. Worship and you just pray. With fastings of course. Periodically. Not every time. And something is happening to you. All of a sudden you find out that heaven can find expression more. You wouldn't know until you go for one meeting. And while you are standing you are seeing people shouting everywhere. And you are seeing the power of God moving. And you are surprised. What has happened to me? Space. Space space you've given him space prayer is principally a channel for encounter illumination and empowerment not just petition petition is the last aspect of prayer the primary purpose of prayer is for encounters for illumination first corinthians let me give you a few scriptures quickly First Corinthians chapter 14. I won't explain. Just write it. Chapter 2 verse 4. The Bible says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men but to God. Right? He speaks mysteries. And then verse 4 of 1 Corinthians 14 says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, edifies, builds up, enlarges his spiritual capacity. Number 2. Romans chapter 8 from verse 26 and 27. The Bible says, for we know not what to pray for as we ought to. It says, but the Spirit, He makes intercession for us. He searches the mind of God. Right? He brings an intermingling. It's like a salt covenant. He says, let us reason together. It happens in the place of prayer. Romans 8, 26 and 27. And then Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Prayer grants you access to light and illumination call on to me and i will answer and show the great and mighty things not small and meager things great and mighty things let me tell you look at me there is no amount of bible study that will substitute for prayer do you know why many people are not really getting revelation because what we are doing is study alone and not prayer you can study but it is prayer that will break that scripture like a shell and release the life to you. Make no mistakes about it. You can sit down and study forever. Get up and carry the letter that kills. Go and teach and not bless people. But true illumination is in the place of prayer. And when you add prayer with fasting, it's like a time bomb. He said, then shall your light break forth like the morning and your health shall spring speedily. Is this not the fast that I've commanded? That means there is a type you can do on your own. Hunger strike. Right? Religious fast. But there is a type I have commanded. And if you do that, your light will break forth like the morning. And your health will come speedily. James chapter 5 verse 16. The fervent, not joking and trivial prayer. The fervent and effectual prayer. Of the righteous availed much. Amplified says. Is dynamic in its working. 
say katala katalaya. So when you pray, when you pray in the spirit, you are enlarging your capacity. You see why we pray. You see why we believe in the ministry of prayer. It's not the works of the Lord to pray and fast. We are not trying to add to what Jesus has done. We are opening up to receive all that he has brought. Number two. The second process of transformation happens through insight and revelation from the word. So here we have the ministry of prayer. And then insight and revelation from the word. Notice I didn't just say the word of God. It's for a reason. Because if I say the word of God, many of us have been reading Bible. But the insight and the revelation, the illumination you get from the word of God. And then in addition to that, our obedience to the word of God is what releases the power of what we believe to produce results for us. Listen, listen. The word of God is like a bag that carries treasures. Your obedience to the principles of the word opens up the bags and releases the treasure inside. You know how granite is? It's in a shell. That's principally how the word of God is. When you act, your obedience releases what is inside so that it will work for you. So it's not enough to just get insight and revelation. You must be willing to obey to the latter. I wrote something here that is interesting. Revelation without the willingness to obey is a demonstration of rebellion. Revelation. When you have revelation, insight in the Bible, and you do not have the willingness to obey it, you have clearly demonstrated your rebellion. A few scriptures. Mm. Proverbs 24 verse 30. Let's look at it very quickly. We'll look at three scriptures. Proverbs 24 verse 30. And then Acts chapter 8, 29 to 30. Proverbs 24 verse 30. Hallelujah. It says. 24 verse what? 30. I think I may have made a mistake. Okay, let's go to Acts 8 verse 29 to 30. While I look that up. Acts 8. It was the story. The story of the utopian Enoch. Watch this. That guy could not experience God in his life because he was void of knowledge and understanding. And when the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join yourself to the chariot 30. And Philip ran Peter to him and had him read prophet Isaiah and said what? Understandest what thou readest? Not just that you are reading it. Do you understand? It's not enough to just know scriptures and cram scriptures. Do you understand? Understanding, illumination, insight. Job chapter 22 verse 22 very powerfully job 22 22 receive i pray thee the law from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart receive it don't just read it receive it let light enter you the entrance of thy word give it light there is an enlargement he said write prosperously because of truth The last scripture john chapter 1 verse 12 this is the one that blew my mind the bible says as many as received him who is the him the word but as many not everybody will receive the word many will read the word many will admire the word but very few will receive it he said but as many as receives that word that word gives them power to become power to become Power to become when you receive the word it gives you power to become what it says not when you read it when you receive it and diligently obey the principles it transforms you to become so the word about titan guarantees your financial future when you receive it you receive it by acting upon it and satisfying the conditions that release the anointing that backs it then it begins to change you from the earthly 
to the heavenly. Number three, the last thing to do in the process of transformation is worship. A life of intense worship. Intense worship. Bible says, do not be drunk with wine wearing in excess. He said, but be filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking to yourself in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Let me tell you something about worship. I've studied it very well. Worship brings the manifest presence of God to your life and your territory. Worship is a magnet. There are three levels of God's presence. There is his omnipresence. His ability to be everywhere at the same time. There is what I call his Emmanuel dimension. That when two people are gathered in a place, he's there in their midst. God with us. But there is his Shekinah. His manifested presence. That dimension is invoked in worship. Second Chronicles chapter 5 verse 12 to 14. Let's hurry up. Second Chronicles 5 12 to 14. Second Chronicles 5. It says, And also the Levites, which were singers, all of them of Asaph, of Haman, of Jeduthun, with their sons and their brethren, being arrayed in white linen, having cymbals and pastries and psalms, stood at the east end of the altar, and with them a hundred and twenty priests, worshipping and sounding trumpets. Next verse. And it came to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and the cymbals and the instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For the Lord is good, for his mercy endured forever. That what happened? The house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. Next verse, the Shekinah of God came and rested there so that the priests could not minister by reason of the cloud except for the glory of the lord had filled the house when you maintain a life of intense worship the glory of god comes your body begins to shake a literal vibration at his presence and you are lying down there soaking in that presence for hours See, this is how to walk powerful in the anointing and the glory of God. That the cloud, the glory of the Lord. Let me tell you, when the glory of the Lord rests upon your life, you won't even be able to stand up. That Shekinah. Sicknesses will melt away. Infirmities will go away. The majestic voice of God will come through the cloud and speak to you. Maintain a life of worship. Put worship songs in your phones. Remove all those ungodly songs that keep making your mindset a doorway for demonic activities. Come and meet the worship team. Let them do a selection of soaking worship songs for you. Just lie down in your room. You may be sleeping normally, but let the songs just play. Sometimes they may just be hymns like this or songs playing. No words to them. And you are just soaking. And after a while, the Shekinah of God, like a hand resting upon eggs. Remember what I said about the hand. A hand will rest upon an egg and turn that liquid substance to a cheek. How much more the glory of God when it rests upon you. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 16 verse 25. The Bible tells us that Paul and Silas were locked up in the prison. And the Bible says they prayed and they sang. They sang praises to God. And the prisoners had them. He had them. Oh my God. That's why we worship a lot in Koinonia. It's the secret of the presence. It's the secret. Look at every man that walks in the anointing. Every man that walks in the miraculous. Benny Hinn will worship for hours. Dr. Paul and Encher would worship for hours. Men who know God. Men who carry the anointing. Catherine Kuhlman. All these great people. They would sing hymns and worship for hours. And when the presence rests. Wheelchairs will be lifted just by themselves. Your job is to get God to the scene. And step out. 
our worship team all of them have been trained to understand the assignment of koinonia worship team is not to entertain koinonia the very assignment of koinonia worship team is to create the atmosphere where the presence of god finds expression that's why sometimes they can come and just raise one popular song and just create the atmosphere you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah sing it one more time you are good you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. Yeah. You are good and your mercy forever. Hallelujah. Let's sing it one more time. You are good. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. try to listen to my message and voice of his presence is the foundation for this we're going to pray we're out of time rise up on your feet just two prayer points but i want you to pray with all your heart i like you to pray and ask the lord and say lord bring me to that place where the mind of christ experientially becomes my mind I'm willing to give you space go ahead and pray I'm willing to give the God of miracles space the God of breakthroughs the God of signs and wonders the God of impartations the God of salvation and revival Pray, man of God. Pray, woman of God. Pray, businessman. Give God space. Hallelujah. Pay yourselves into two, please. You are going to pray. I like you to intercede intensely for your neighbor lord let heaven invade his life pray let heaven invade his mindset let heaven invade his ministry let heaven invade his business let heaven invade his marriage outside make sure you are praying outside make sure you are praying Heaven, heaven, invade our minds, invade our souls, invade our souls, invade our bodies. Let the fullness of the capacity the fullness of the possibilities in God find expression hallelujah hallelujah look up you're going to pray for yourself and say Lord in any way I have misrepresented you 
by refusing to give you space i make up my mind that i will contend for transformation that healing anointing must come out in my life after the order of benny Hinn, after the order of Ketrin kuman that prophetic mantle must find expression i refuse to be a weak christian i refuse to be a weak man of god that apostolic anointing will find expression after the order of paul after the order of smith wigglesworth after the order of saint patrick my territory will experience revival revival fire 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 revival fire healing fire no playing games no playing games with destiny no playing games shake it, 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 it. the sick must be healed through my life the oppressed must be delivered sinners must be saved sinners must be saved the church must be equipped through my life i give you space my family must receive breakthrough hallelujah if i'm serious with god when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that god cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it elijah said i'm the only one god said keep quiet there are seven thousand others who have not bowed to bear please hear me there are people here god wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because god needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that god must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when god does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of god find expression so if god wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says i'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father i'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no i'm i'm too i'm too i want to marry now god please go somewhere he comes to your sister i'm looking for men there's no time to look for god and god says i want to step into this family no one has given me space if god can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream would torture him till he thinks about it he would get up alone and you find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of god you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of god to grow this dilly darling with god is the recipe for failure i'm too young to reject god the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life i claim i'm too big for god before we continue tonight i'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as i'm speaking to you the holy ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there i see you and the lord is speaking to you online 
probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but i'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to jesus i know you will be healed young and old i don't care how long you have been you are saying lord i'm tired of living my life the way i want i want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Three. So keep coming. Don't say there's no space. Even if you have to line up outside, no problem. This is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight. Just find somewhere to stand. If the place is full, keep lining up there, right outside. Five. Someone is still thinking about it and saying, Apostle, I'm a nice person. Have never done anything wrong. It's just that I've not declared Jesus. Join them. By the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved. You didn't do anything wrong. But that very nature of darkness is resident upon you. All of you who are standing here, please don't look at anyone. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to Jesus. Everyone who is standing, stretch right outside and those online. Talk to Jesus right now. And say, Jesus, I come to you. I come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated i expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of god lift your voice and cry to jesus lord i'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and i know it my mother is not saved i know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure I know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved Lord I know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the savior he wants to reveal himself first as savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me i see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old i don't care what you have done i don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what i'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of god if you will lead me to pray i will i will love it i've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you're going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says i am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely 
say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night i have heard your word and i make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days i will live for you i will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night i hand over my life to you say it again i hand over my life to you be my lord be my savior i declare that the power of sin of satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of god i'm separated from them this night i declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and lord i decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost i speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today i declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation will roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the mercies of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because i'll start praying for the sick now praise the lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets tuesdays 4 p.m just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down rema chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around 
in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah please coordinate them coordinate them let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life i never see anyone like you i never see anyone like you hey, i never see anyone Wait, Sam, help me. I never see anyone like you. 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 everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight this is me this is my destiny Give me strange results. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me in the name of Jesus. Visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life and my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray long standing challenges Are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah please if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer if you're holding a child or you're doing something that's all right otherwise find somebody a serious neighbor hold the hand i want you to agree say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now lift your voice and pray agree if any two shall agree 
has touched it. Believe in what you are saying. You are opening doors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, take away shame. Take away mockery from my life, my family, and my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. Expose them tonight. Lift your voice and pray. For the light shines in darkness. Pray for the light shines in darkness. Let your light shine, O God. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord.
listen listen to me i will just give you an instruction just help those under the anointing but listen to me carefully please everyone do you know the reason why we minister deliverance listen listen carefully you have to understand this the reason why we minister deliverance you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance however there are lives come my dear when a spirit listen carefully when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny brothers and sisters let me tell you i don't care what you do physically remember spiritual intelligence you can be doing the right physical things but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo representing a covenant an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now i want you to bring there are the first sets of people who will come out ushers grace for you and protocol i know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road but i want to pray everyone please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people right now in your silence hold on maybe just this the power of god will begin to come upon you what is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance that deliverance is equal to breakthrough equal to new levels but lift your hands there are people here who are under strong yokes of delay and the lord gives me an instruction we will just lift our hands and be silent that's all the instruction and inside and outside the spirit of god will begin to locate them are we together when that happens then we'll take it off from there that's the first thing god wants to do tonight just lift your hands everyone thank you jesus the lord is asking me to stretch my hands and there are people and families and those following on online except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay that spirit must leave you are we together so keep your hands lifted thank you jesus lord wherever they are right now i stretch my hands according to the instructions you have given me inside and outside right now i see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay keep your hands lifted shalakataya bring them out outside there just the angels of the lord are walking i'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now i command it the word of the lord is upon this prophecy in the name of jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out
thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside kai my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken now hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks but locks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me but locks opening, opening, opening right now. I open them. I'm under the shadow of your your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow Your influence 
coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars i hear family altars right now oh god in the name of jesus one two three i set those altars now on fire right now 32 people i see in the realm of the spirit i command it right now i command it everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now so right now be free now be free now your influence is all over me i'm under the shadow of your own everyone lift your hands say this after me in the name of jesus please say it seriously say in the name of jesus any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the lord as i shout the name jesus i command you to live my life at the count of three shout jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting i command spirit you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain help me say Hallelujah. Ushers, I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name. Because what I see now is not a nice scene. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison. Every devil. Causing sicknesses. Every fibroid. Every devil. Every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice, and they are giving somebody everybody a substance, like a drink, something to take. They gave everybody, including you, and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a is a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all over me. Let's have another mic, please. 
hold on stand up my dear is this the lady two of them stand up where are you from look at me huh Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know. My mother. I don't know. They she brought somebody, and you people entered a covenant, and they gave you something. Hold my hands. Shout, Jesus. I command that covenant that demonic thing time your life in this miracle service it lives now in the name of Jesus you too where are you from, I'm from Kogi State. you are from Kogi State the same thing hold my hands look at me I command that devil to leave you now whatever yoke please don't come out if I don't call your case are you part of them mr. man young man you're part of them in the name of Jesus I set you free bring the, you, are, you too come make sure that so that we don't get the place rowdy be delivered now help her out be free now out I'm interested in this lady please stand up my dear if you can this lady's whole family is in bondage whole family the entire family nothing is working in your family the Lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands I command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now there is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too ah substance your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance lift your hands lift your hands Leave both of them. I'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand. Your hand will start shaking. And then the Lord is bringing you strange deliverance. It will start from your hands down to your body. I place the word of God upon your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Both of you, look at me. Both of you cough out blood. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you. It ends now. In the name of Jesus, out right now. There are spirits responsible for this. Kite. Ta, 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 ta. Do you know what I just saw? The Lord opened my eyes and I saw like a cage. And in the cage, I saw snakes. That's all I'm seeing. That's all I'm seeing. Lift your hands, everybody. The Lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation. There are people who represent that oppression. It will leave now. The Lord is asking me to wave my hands. Lord, as you have said, I see snakes in cages. Whose destiny is that? Right now, whose destiny is that? I wave my hands. In the name of Jesus, please release them for your glory. Release them now. Help them, please, Jesus Christ. Inside, outside. Be out of that cage now. I see snakes, serpents. Some of you see them in your dreams. They must go now. They are leaving you now. Now. They are leaving you now. I command liberty. 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 Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane, like J A N E. Jane. 
Jane. I'm also hearing another name, Victory. Is it Victory? Like Victory. Victory. Please don't come out if that's not your name. What's your name? Jane. Your name is Victory. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. I have to pray for you. Your family is being seriously oppressed. Why are you people here? You are all Jane. Jane. Your name is Victory. I want to pray for you. Kaza Chat. Kaza Chat. Is it Kaza Chat? Who is that? Kaza Chat. I'm hearing that name. That's that's like a Kaduna name. Kaza Chat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza Chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Listen, that is your name. You are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you, I don't even know why the rest of you are. But please, I want you to believe. The moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach lives your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family, Delta State, breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. The serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands, Lord. The Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl. Lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now i release that grace for restoration restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them receive it right now wherever you are Lekate praskata baratu shubrediara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. Kai. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. 
Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I live in Wusasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Set. You too? You are an usher? Okay. Kai, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you. But I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you. And you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we and you were high. You were about to cross the road. And then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here. You smoke. Please don't be. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt i don't know if it's your shirt it's jeans who is that no no that there's another come out i will pray for you this this is not the only guy just keep them here i will pray for him i'm seeing another person outside the second overflow you are standing on the road the spirit of god is speaking to you speaking to you this thing they roll and they smoke and then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out Join them quickly and come. Whether I mention your case or not, you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction. Indian hem, whatever, forward march. Come here, your salvation. Come, sir. Please appreciate them. Clap for them. Some of them are not bad people. It's a spirit. Don't be ashamed. Please, usher, uh, direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We, we, Codeine, whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please, quickly, that addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can, no one will. Keep coming, the devil is a liar. Who can stand against our king? No one can, no one hallelujah i'm seeing a very small boy very small boy very small boy who is supposed to join them young man please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear lillian. Hold on. is this mic working can you add lillian, the voice lillian. lillian what do you want god to do for you i want god to heal you what's wrong with you i mean i have a problem with my tongue no 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 you had a dream huh you saw a snake you can't even remember it and from that day 
you started having serious problem with your stomach huh what's wrong with you I've, I've, I go to guests and, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant, but you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? Yes, How long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here i'm seeing the angel of the lord outside that lady you were a sincere lady but i, I don't know if it's um, another lady i don't want to say what i'm seeing not to embarrass you because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this there are other things that i see that i may not be able to talk about i'm, I'm asking you to come out god wants you to be free for the sake of your family the power of God is going to come upon you outside. Outside. To be free of this thing. My dear, look at me. This is koinonia. The Lord is going to set you free. You believe in miracles? Mama, you believe in miracles? Yes, I have to pray for you. Money runs away from you. Huh? Madam, I will pray for you. Mama? Huh? Yamuke. Do you hear how, sir? Yeah. Okay. This is your daughter? Please be comfortable. Whatever language you can speak, there is an interpreter here. Nobody says you must be able to speak English or whatever. Any language, please. If I call you here or you stand here for healing, don't be under any pressure to say you must. Whatever language is comfortable, speak it. If I don't understand, we'll find somebody to interpret. Please, don't put yourself under pressure and say, no, we are excellent people, but we are not fools. We can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord bringing restoration to your life this is what i am seeing and the lord is asking me to pray for you can i pray for you ma i will pray for you ah. i have to pray i'm seeing not you but i'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to abuja and having an accident we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the holy ghost mama Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come on. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come, where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand. Anybody that is not designed by God, I separate you and him forever. Say amen. In Jesus' name. Gracilda. Gracilda. I'm hearing Gracilda. Something Hilda. Please. If it's not you, no problem. But that's what I'm hearing. Mama, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. New beginning for you. Hold up, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, lay your hands on your stomach. Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. 
I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies, you are inside here. There is an embargo of barrenness on your family. Fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo. You don't even know. It's in your family. It may not be in your life. But I'm seeing it right now. The angel of the Lord is locating two ladies right now. And is breaking that embargo. Thank you, Father. I put the word of God upon this prophetic word. That embargo is broken right now. Right now. Right now. Two ladies. Two ladies. There's no reason why you should come here. And your life should be the same. Mama, I will pray for you. This is your daughter. Do you know that God is going to use this girl? God will use your daughter for his glory. Hold my hands, my dear. There is a small girl now, but God will use you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. Mama, I decree and declare, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance. The power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place. This is somebody's deliverance. This is somebody's deliverance. Lord, set them free right now. Right now. Right now. I'm seeing something rolling around this row. This row. This row. This row. Shala sobaria taska bandabria. Legetegeba sharatos kabredia. There's no hiding. There's no hiding. Someone in this row. Someone in this row. Someone in this row. Hardship over your family is being broken right now. I'm stretching my hands. This row. Right there. Father, locate that person right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, come. I want you to rejoice. Look at me. The Lord, hold on. The Lord is saying I should tell you that where you have been crying, you will begin to laugh. You have been crying for 30 years and the Lord is saying your breakthrough has come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please shoot for me. Come, madam. Hold my hands. The Lord is there and should tell you it's your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your season of laughter. Your season of laughter. Look at me. Lose her hands now. Lose her hands now. Lose her hands now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her hands be loose. Your hands are tied. I lose your hands in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors. That's what the Lord is saying. Open doors. The Lord has said you have waited too long. It's time for the door of your destiny to be open. Open doors. Come. There is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you. Hold my hands. Leave her now. Out. Out. When bad boys see you, they can't leave you. As they are passing, they see you, that spirit calls them back. I don't know who this girl is. You are a small girl, but the things you know are what you have done. Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. You have gone to places you should not go. You have, you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now, I'm not saying you're a bad girl. It's a spirit, including married men. They will be minding their business. That spirit will call them to you. I command that devil to leave you now leave you now 
in the name of Jesus Christ I want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, who shot you I'm a soldier I was shot by my colleague Meduguri you are Meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you eh? yeah. but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your crotch up look at this look at this look at this walk as fast as you can don't be afraid turn around turn around come because your wound is not healing there is a wound but there is not healing from today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in Zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force huh? yes sir. I want to pray for you do you believe God can favor yes sir. I have to pray for you God is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? Look at me, brothers and sisters. I want to break this addiction from your life now. Are we together? You are very sincere people. Some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends. Some of you were initiated into these things by spirits. I'm going to lay my hands on you. While the congregation, whether your child is here or not, whether your brother is here or not, as you are praying, you are sowing a seed for your own hope. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stretch your hands. Don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any. It's none of your business. Koinonia is, a, is like a hospital. Stretch your hands. I will lay my hands on every one of them. Please, all of you should pray. I want to break addiction from your life. Don't feel condemned. Jesus will help you. It must be broken right now. Broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction out out now out out in the name of Jesus out look at this guy out break from his life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be set free be set free as soon as I lay my hands on you continue praying be set free addiction break break in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling no addiction for liquor no addiction for drugs something is leaving you I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head out of her life now in the name of Jesus I break that addiction. Ah. Hey, Jimmy, come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God, but... This addiction must be broken right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. Hold my hands. You are a nice lady, but we have to break this thing. Lord, please, for your mercy, let it be broken in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to minister to somebody. I'm seeing a very interesting case. You love God, please don't be ashamed. There is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to. Who is that person? I want to pray for you now. Whether you are sick or not, come and stand here. Particular pain reliever. You can't help it. You can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it. It's a spirit. Pain reliever. I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital. God is visiting addictions this night. Quickly, come. Don't sit back and say, I'm all right. Allow God set you free. Let them come. Look at this. Pain. I don't know what it is, but I hear my spirit pain reliever. Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There's one of you, fire is coming on you now. After that fire comes on you, then I'll pray for the rest. That's the instruction God is giving me. One of you, fire, literal fire. Is coming upon you from heaven. As I lay my hands upon you, that addiction breaks right now. Stretch your hands and pray for them. Don't feel embarrassed. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus. Addiction broken now. Broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Broken now broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost broken now broken now if they are for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus it's broken now in the name of Jesus broken in the name of Jesus place your hand on your stomach God is not only setting you free, he's setting you free from something else. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Addiction broken now. Addiction broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Addiction is broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Broken now. Hold my hands. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a spirit that wants to destroy your life. I command now, there's no hiding place for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you must be set free. You are standing in for somebody, no problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural freedom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, Praise the Lord. Please accept you are nursing a child or doing something. Let's all rise. Those outside, they are still praying for you. No problem. All other people, please stand up. Rise up. I want us to pray. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, please do it quickly. The Bible says, Unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. In one minute, God can turn your life around. Everyone stretch your hands here and pray. I'm going to lay hands on the request. Pray passionately from the depth of your heart. Lord, I will not have to write this again. Pray. I've written it. The Bible says after two days, please, if there are still people coming, bring it quickly. It says after two days, he will revive us and on the third day, he will raise us up. Online here, please pray. I'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the God of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray
in the next one minute i'd like you to pray blast in tongues and say lord this is the last of the prayer request that i'm having to write concerning this issue hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment jesus i present to you impossible situations according to men and i ask you turn it around now turn it around now turn it around now let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now every case here said by men to be impossible we we collide that case with the power of god and we produce testimonies now whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now whoever must hear god for this prayer to be answered hears god now father i pray in the name of jesus may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again lord i pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony may the fire and the anointing of the holy ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak 
right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now it's yours receive it now it's yours receive it now it's yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get a soto ropa shiata grace for performance everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by god i decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now i prophesy the spirit of the lord is upon me i speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by god i put fire upon your feet and i command speed now i put fire upon your feet i command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace 
there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus I decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life I release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God you will struggle for nothing please hear me I prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life i decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say I'm talking about money. You need it for what is coming in ahead. Whatever makes finances run from you, whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury, I turn it around now. I turn it around now. I pray for every student here the kind of results you have never seen I release it to you now I release it by the spirit I release it from the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiments they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest I pray for your loved ones. I pray for you. Whoever is called jobless here, yeah. before next miracle service, get something doing now. I prophesy it again. Whoever is called jobless, before next miracle service, I don't know how it will happen, but get a good job. There are people here trusting God for direction. Very clear direction for the next level of their lives. Could be maritally, could be geographic location, whatever it is. Hear God in this season like never before. Hear God in this season like never before. Lift your hands. I release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so it here receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Hear me? Whoever mocks your passion for God goes down immediately. Whoever has set over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered. 
whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in koinonia tonight may their prayers be answered every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside i tear that veil completely in the name of jesus favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit i'm praying it again begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit the mantle of honor that god has put upon my life god has put upon this ministry you are part of this vision you are under this grace there's no reason why it should not work in your life i command it to start speaking now no more dishonor in your life no more dishonor in your life hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication listen see let me tell you something don't ever let people there are people who are under such passion for new things the system of the kingdom is dynamic but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same prayer the word corporate fellowship obedience if you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing is a joke you will never find it one more time i restore your prayer life in the name of jesus christ i don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night I don't know what took away your passion for the house of God but in the name of Jesus may a love for the house of God like never before come upon you in the name of Jesus the grace God released to bring the word triumph to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you I speak over your life it is your year of triumph therefore whatever has mocked God in your life I command that in as you enter April from tomorrow you triumph over it hallelujah as you enter April it will not be April full it will be April wise it will be April breakthrough it will be April miracles it will be April speed. Agree with me again. I'm praying with you. Between now and miracle service April, please hear me. Results together with tears in your eyes for joy, you will return with them. Results together with tears of joy in your eyes. Wave your hands and give Jesus all the praise. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Thank you, Lord, for performance. Thank you, Lord, for performance. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.